Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a summer proof, full coverage, long lasting makeup where I look from this to this. You could call this like a clean girl makeup or a soft glam makeup because this is basically the technique, routine and the products that I use whenever I want my makeup to last throughout the day because I have super oily skin and I live in Chennai which is hot and humid throughout the day and even for my own wedding I did my own makeup so I used exactly these same techniques and the products as well there were just a few things which I will talk along the way on what I skipped and what I added now so before we can get into the tutorial and if you have not already then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. Since my skin is super oily, the first thing that I would always do before starting my makeup is to blot off all the excess oil. And this much of oil has been blotted away. Next up, I'm going to moisturize. Now I am using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Moisturizer. Now this is great if you have oily skin. If you have dry or normal skin, I would suggest to go for something a bit more heavier than this. For primer today, I'm going to be using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Now, unfortunately, this has been discontinued. So when I came to know that Becca was shutting down, I already got like a backup of it. But then this is the mini size version, so it will get over at any time. Now, even though Smashbox has bought Becca, this is no longer available anywhere, which is kind of a shame because this is such a good primer because this helps like a two in one sort of a thing where it helps in mattifying as well as blurring the pores. So for other primers, I do use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer and I pair it along with something that blurs the pore like these Smashbox ones. So yeah, but then I have to use like two products rather than having just one product which is the Becca one. So yeah, today I'm going to go with the Becca one and this is all that you can use like very little of the product. Like for example, I don't know if you guys can see but this is so mattifying. Next up, I'm going to go with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Loose Powder. Now, this is what I'm going to use to set my face. You could use any loose powder, whatever works for your skin. But this is such a good loose powder. And unfortunately, it has actually been discontinued, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, this is so good if you have like oily skin. And it has a very sweet taste as well. Accidentally, while doing lip swatch videos and everything, I have tasted this and it does taste pretty sweet. But do not eat your loose powder please don't so i'm going to take the powder puff and just get like one layer of the loose powder i'm not going to like bake it but just set it on my face For foundation today I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 260 Golden Sun. However, my most favorite, the most used and for my wedding, the foundation that I used is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Cashew and at that time I mixed it along with the shade Rattan. So yeah, this is by far my most used and my most favorite foundation but today we're going to use the L'Oreal one. So this is quite a runny foundation as you guys can see. This foundation is such a good semi matte finish and it is also pretty long lasting as well. I have done like a dedicated video reviewing this foundation. So yeah, I will link it above. You can check it out if you're interested. So I removed the foundation off of my lips and I'm going to quickly add in some lip balm so that my lips are well moisturized and prepped by the time I apply my lipstick. Since my under eye area is a bit dry, I'm going to go with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is such a good concealer as well. Now this is in the shade 140 Pure Beige. Now this is more or less like a highlighting sort of a concealer.
Now to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Now this is in the shade number two, medium. Again, I'm going to be using as the powder puff and uh, take like a very thin layer like so. Now we're going to move on to the eyes and uh, before I can start off what I do is I take like a clean wet wipe and just go over my eyebrow because there will be some uh, foundation there so yeah just removing that so yeah this is the amount of foundation that was there on my eyebrows so yeah this is what I usually do now for the eyebrow product this is my staple that i have been using for the last i think about six to seven years and this is my second uh, tub of it this is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade this is in the shade dark brown and i have their brush as well which is the uh, one side spoolie and one side angled uh, brush so yeah this pomade actually lasts for a very very long time and uh, this is like how much that i have used and how much that is left which is quite a lot uh, this has already been like i think one and a half to two years old and there is still so much that's there so i'm just gonna take the spoolie side comb upwards and then I've just drawn a line below and for the top what I do is I take this pulley and brush the hair downwards and then now I'm just going to smudge whatever product is already there. So yeah, eyebrows make a lot of difference. <laughs> Now for eyeliner, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Colossal Bold Liner. This is what I have been using for the last, I don't know, like two, three years now. So yeah, love this product. Now usually if it was for filming a video, I would add like an eyeshadow, but today we are skipping on it. So yeah. This is a very good bold dark black matte eyeliner but this is not waterproof. For mascara today I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now this is the one which has the green detailing on it. Like I know there are like a bunch of uh, like pink one, purple one, blue one but this is the green one. Now usually I do avoid using any mascaras on my lower lashes. The reason is because once the mascara dries up, it literally falls. My lower lashes are so weak and stupid that it literally falls off. So yeah, I kind of avoid using any mascaras on the lower lashes. For falsies, I'm going to be using is the Ardell Demi Wispies. This is such a good natural sort of looking lashes. So yeah, I'm going to be using that today. And I'm going to be using it along with the Pack Lash Glue. Now this is the black one because most and majority of the time I always have an eyeliner on. So I just continued using like a black lash glue, which is a great option. So I'll quickly finish my lashes and be right back. Alright, so the lashes are on and now moving on is to contour. I'm going to be using is the LA Girl Concealer and this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I have been using this for the longest time and uh, yeah, if you guys have any good recommendations, do let me know. And I'm going to take like a flat concealer brush which looks like this and uh, just blend and for blush i'm gonna use my very old trusty blush which is the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso it is so old and uh, i think it is hitting pan i'm hoping that i will finish it this year without fail but yeah this is all that is left right now of this blush but this is such a beautiful blush because it has its slight shimmer in it as well so it gives a nice glow on the skin I'm using the brush that it comes with. To 
I have removed the lip balm off of my lips and for lip liner I'm going to go with the Milani understatement lip liner in the shade Saucy Toffee. And I'm going to pair it up with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Petal. Now I'm going to be spot highlighting so I'm going to be using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm going to use a brush which looks like this, a very flat concealer brush. And finally for the setting spray I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So this is how everything looks like right now and as you guys can see it does have a nice matte finish at the same time it is glowing at the right spots. Now I will quickly also insert a video of how it looks like on my phone camera and I am going to be filming another video or two so I will also insert a video to show you guys how it looks by the end of the day as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you have not already then do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shnayar on Instagram and Shnayar on Twitter as well so until next time take care bye